Strong Diodi is again. Foul. Oh, no chops. A really good sting. Oh, right to the chest of Big Dod. And again. Oh my good God. Oh my fucking. Ah. Holy shit. Holy shit. Ah. Ah. You know the day destroys the night, night divides the day. Try to run, try to hide, break on through to the other side. Break on through to the other side, break on through to the other side, yeah. I've always been a wrestling fan. Um, I haven't always been a Christian, um, so... It was kind of a thing that I've always taken as normal. I've always taken it. My love of wrestling has always been special to me. It's always been something that I've had that maybe other friends haven't and something that I've always had and always kept and something I've always been interested in. It started off my role just being um, a fan, actually. I just went to watch uh, the events, watch my mates. Um, then eventually I became a referee and started refereeing for the Fed called BBWF, British Backyard Wrestling Federation. And then as time passed on, when NAW was created or recreated, uh, I then went to ref there. Um, I also became announcing. I started using my voice um, to introduce wrestlers. As a day job, I'm actually a chef, a cook, whatever you want to call it, for the National Health Service in a mental asylum, which quite suits someone like me. It's quite strange when you're in one environment and you're an NAW heavyweight champion and then you're cooking meals for a bunch of, well, nice people, I'll call them, um, because it's sort of two different worlds. In one, you're this larger-than-life character, the nature boy Steve Farrell, and then there's this other job, you're just this person at the bottom of the pack serving meals. As far as injuries go, I don't think I've ever seriously hurt someone, hopefully. Um, I can't ever recall sort of injuring someone seriously. For my own injury, um, I've dislocated, lig I've torn ligaments in my ankle, which is an ongoing niggling problem. It keeps coming back from time to time, but it's not as bad as what some people's had. I mean, AWAX, a wrestler, was scarred for life when glass light tube went into space and he wasn't even involved in the match. Christian was probably the worst injury I've seen when Christian uh, suffered from a concussion. Um, I'm sure he won't mind me saying this, his nana died and he totally forgot and he had to be told again that his nana died and that was the, the hideous thing for me, that was a, a really bad thing, injury to um, see. That. I go to college, I'm doing, a, I'm doing an art and design course at the moment. I think again it, it comes down to the person itself, some people go out there and decide they're going to take something really insanely massive off the top of the horse onto the wooden floor. You know, if they think to themselves that they're going to be okay and the mark out's going to be worth this, then that's fair enough, but it comes down to the personal person, really. I took a, a very simple move, an elbow drop off something, and my arm twisted awkward. It was dead for about seven, eight hours, and I couldn't feel it. And I was contemplating going to the doctors and all that, but it healed itself. Apart from that, I, I do have asthma, and um, I do find sometimes that I do get a bit of wind and I have a bit of chest problems, but if you're not willing to, to take the, the good with the bads, then you're not really in the right spot. Discrimination. Um, the Welsh, for example, really do suit the bad guy rule because for some reason they've just got this reputation that comes with them so it's easy to boo them and call them names. So on screen it really does have an advantage for them that they're playing the bad guys. I don't, I don't really think there's much discrimination. I think if you bring it on yourself, you make up for it. I think the Welsh is isolated a bit from the whole UK backyard scene because I think, was it, there's only like one, maybe one, maybe two feds active in Wales, uh, there's only ever been three at the most. Um, in, in England, there's, there's been thousands. Not, as, not, not on a personal level, but on a wrestling side, I, I do think that, because we're from a different country, I, I do think there is a bit of discrimination, only a tiny bit, and you've got to go out there, but I think you've, with that, you've got to go out there and prove yourself that a little bit more. I, I think this is just the right time. Brit, um, Brit Fest 2006. Seven even. I've had my 
had my, my, my fav one of my favourite matches with Dave Williams, proved a lot of people who didn't think I could go the distance, couldn't pull that sort of match out. And I think I've earned this now. If I'd been given it early on, I, I think a lot of people wouldn't have accepted it, but I think I've done more need to be done to hold the belt, and I'm pretty proud. I wouldn't say that the future of Back York lies with the Welsh guys. Um, I think it's a mixture. I think they're a big part of it. Um, they've really proven themselves lately, but I think it's a, it's a big community. Primarily I left NAW uh, because of my Christianity, uh, my own religious beliefs of a God of love and peace um, who sent his son to um, bring life and uh, to give us peace in our hearts. And I preach that God, um, I believe in that God wholeheartedly. And I first started thinking a little bit that I was being a hypocrite. Um, AK, a fellow Christian, said to me, um, you know, is this actually life? Is this what Jesus came to bring? And I, I thought, well, I said to him, I'll pray about it and think about it. And it was within that week or two weeks, I can't exactly remember, that I really was struck that this wasn't right. This really wasn't right and I should get out of it. I was being a hypocrite uh, by watching friends destroy each other when um, all I wanted for them was to have the peace of God, really. He offers pardon to the guilty sinner. If you're, if you're self-righteous today, you won't get this. But if, if you have a weight of your own sin, you will. Friends, God offers pardon. God offers forgiveness. Uh, and Jesus did say, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Uh, for a long time, I felt that that was right for me to do, to stay there. The Bible also warns about doing stuff that will trap the Christian. Jesus spoke to prostitutes, but he didn't become a prostitute. Uh, Jesus spoke to tax collectors, he didn't become a tax collector. He spoke to sinners and yet he was perfect and holy himself and without sin. People don't, he will have as much place as people are willing to give him. And in my experience, there's not really a place for God uh, as they, they will, you can go in the forum and look at previous topics where myself and others have tried to talk to people about Christ and they, they object to it and that a lot of them do object to it. A lot of them are sympathetic, don't get me wrong, but I think in that way there's not a place for God. Of course God loves backyard wrestlers. The Bible says God so loved the world, that's every person in it, in my understanding of it. it he loves all people though we're all sinners before him, we all, the Bible clearly says, Jesus clearly says, we all deserve hell and we haven't lived to God's standard, but yet he loves us all. speaking to Napalm last show about who's from Wales himself I was speaking to him about what he knew of a revival uh, a God coming into the lives of people in Wales and restoring the whole country turning to, the whole country turning to Christianity vervently and really enthusiastically uh, only a hundred years ago and Napalm knew nothing of that Nap Napalm didn't really care and in England itself today you, talk, you only have to look at the footage you probably showed of me earlier, you recorded me earlier, not many people stopping about of the hundreds who walk by. Uh, it's, a, it's a despondent country uh, who doesn't see their need for God. And I think it, Backyard does reflect what England is like. Your heart.